Hi friends, this is Lady Flora, and we're at our local botanical gardens. It's uh, Lady Flora and Company today, and there's a beautiful fountain back here. It's really nice out. It's actually like 65 degrees or something. I don't know, I think it's even warmer, but uh, it's really, really beautiful. Um, behind me is this rainbow eucalyptus tree with the coolest bark ever. I don't know if you can see that. I am absolutely fascinated with these things. As the bark peels, there's like a different color revealed um, underneath. And uh, you should you should seriously Google rainbow eucalyptus tree because it's really amazing the stuff, the pictures that are out there. And there's the sign. I don't know if you can see that rainbow eucalyptus tree. And there is some papyrus over there. That's like the biggest papyrus I've ever seen. And uh, there's my daughter playing on the Adirondack chairs. As you can see, the grass is kind of dead. Um, I mean, it's not really dead, it's just dormant. And uh, that's kind of what happens this time of year in the winter. A lot of stuff is still alive, but a lot of stuff just goes dormant for the uh, for the winter. And this is a weeping willow behind me, but it just doesn't look like any weeping willow I've ever seen. It doesn't seem to have any, any weeping going on. Um, and there's a monstera right there, which of course is doing great and is not dormant at all. <laughs> What? He's not too sure about fountains. But, um, but yeah, and there's a cool little bench over there, and I don't know if you can hear, there's the sound of a morning dove singing, and uh, right back here is some huge, huge bamboo. I don't know if you can see that, it's very tall bamboo behind me. And this place is just gorgeous. I love coming here. It's my favorite, favorite place to come in the whole wide world. And, uh, and I hope that if you have a botanical garden in your area, I hope you do. And if you do, I think you should go check it out because it's delightful. It's just the most delightful place to come to. It's really magical. And there are often signs telling you what everything is and um, as far as I know, it's, it's, as, it's used as a place to inspire you to grow different things in your own yard. So it's uh, to give you inspiration and to say, look, this is the kind of thing that'll grow in your city, in your climate. Um, so it's very inspirational. And I'm teaching, trying to teach my daughter today the, uh, she knows what bamboo is. She can recognize bamboo e really easily. But I'm also trying to teach her to recognize, we're, we're just getting a little bit generic with the, with the names, but we'll say palm trees if they're tall, and we'll say palmettos if they're low, because, you know, Florida is all palmettos all the time. And, uh, but mostly I'm trying to get her to recognize the difference between pine trees and, um, and oak trees, because there's a lot of those here as well. So we've been looking at the bark and talking about how the bark is different and talking about how the leaves are different and uh, and that's been really fun. So uh, yeah, you got to go outside with your kids and spend wonderful quality time outside in nature with your kids. Thank you so much for watching and uh, please check the blog. I'm always posting new things on there and uh, yeah, I hope it's not too cold where you are, and I hope you can uh, go outside and have a sublime day. Why do you think sublime? Sublime. Sublime. Sublime is when there's something in nature that's bigger than you are, and it's beautiful, and it makes you think of God.